Far below the border of Mosamia, deep inside the valley of Lamabar, lies the land of Mongo Makongo. This remote region, uninhabited by man, is home to life forms found nowhere else on Earth. Recently, a team of zoologists and filmmakers made a trip to Mongo Makongo to make this documentary. We will see plants and animals never before captured on film. The rich soil of Mongo Makongo provides nutrients for an enormous variety of vegetation. Nearly 2,000 species of birds reside here. Reptiles also abound, though only the thickness of a dime this tree snake specimen measured over 50 feet in length. Many of the animals here make use of camouflage to blend in with the exotic vegetation, like this bighorn sheep, and these Mongo Makongo chameleons. The chameleon can alter its body color to blend in with the various flowers of Mongo Makongo, which are its main food source. It's a perfect disguise. However, some of the flowers here have evolved a unique defense against the animal. Unnoticed by the feeding creature, this flower assumes its complementary color. And the reptile can be spotted by predators for miles around. For the naturalist in Mongo Makongo, the days are long ones. There are animals to be loaded aboard the aircraft for the return trip. The making of this film also occupies much of the crew's time. The filmmakers must draw thousands of animated pictures to document the journey. However, the men also find time for relaxation. Nightfall in Mongo Makongo. This is the time when the more exotic wildlife awakens. The night blooming moonstalk is among the first to rise. Its growth rate is unequaled by any living thing. Soon, huge patches of the forest will be covered with its luminous vines. Elsewhere in the forest, other life begins to stir. This nightwalker plant depends on the light of the moon for nourishment. When the shade from other plants eclipses the moonlight, it simply finds another spot. Now that its predators are asleep, chemical changes in this nocturnal butterfly 
send phosphorescent pigments to the skin surface. Nearby, luminous flowers appear as the moonstalk vines enter their next stage of development. Soon, massive herbivores arrive and begin consuming the flowers, which now begin producing the seeds for the next night's generation. The moonstalk must mature, bloom, and shed its seeds in one night's time. By daybreak, the entire generation will be eaten. As the forest around them teems with life, the naturalists get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow morning, they return home. The voyage to Mongo Makongo has come to an end. The pilot prepares the aircraft for takeoff. Some animal specimens will also be making the journey. The strange visitors begin their ascent as another day begins in Mongo Makongo.